Welcome back into my New York Giants franchise. Last time it was a pretty typical game in this franchise. We lost 41 to 24. The record is now five and seven. Our playoff hopes are certainly diminishing, but it's okay. We are nearing the end of this season, which means we are nearing the off season, uh, which is my favorite part of any kind of franchise. Uh, but if you guys are not subscribed to the channel and if you like watching Madden 21 franchise content, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed this video in particular, if you're enjoying this series so far, I would also really appreciate it if you could hit that like button down below. But today, we have to take on the Arizona Cardinals. They are 4-7-1, but they definitely don't have a bad team. We're going to have to go up against like DeAndre Hopkins, Kyler Murray. It's probably going to be a pretty tough one. Let's get into the scouting points, though. We have 175 to spend. I've been looking at the offensive line, and there really aren't that many great players. There's a couple good centers who I'm definitely um, looking to take. Floyd Buckhalter wouldn't be that bad of a prospect either. Late sixth-round talent. Not awful, I guess. And yeah, none of these guys look good at all. I might look for some defensive linemen. I don't exactly know. An edge rusher I could totally use. Luke Calloway, early first round talent for him. Wouldn't be a bad selection at all. Maybe look at some outside linebackers. Richard Leak, late first round talent. Doesn't look too good. Maybe if he falls, we can select him. Calvin Lentz is a player I'm interested in. Late first round talent, but early third round projection. Our draft picks aren't shaping up to be too good. 15th and 24th right now. I guess the Steelers are playing fairly well. When I traded for their draft pick, they were projected to have the 12th overall pick. It's all right, though. Let's go to the upgrade points. Andrew Thomas, Darnay Holmes, Cam Brown, Blake Martinez are the only four with upgrade points. Might as well spend on all of these guys. So Andrew Thomas, I'm just going to keep going into pass protection. He's not going to go up in overall. That's all right, though. 70 overall for pass protector. One to awareness, one to pass block finesse it's actually a really bad upgrade package to get darnay holmes we are going into slot he's gonna be up to a 73 he has a little bit to his morale though plus three to man one to awareness and acceleration he's having a really good season as well i'm expecting him to get a few more upgrade points you know throughout the course of this season for sure if he continues to play like this for cam brown we have plus three to block shed plus one to play wreck and zone coverage he doesn't really play too much but he's not bad depth and then blake martinez this team's current number one middle linebacker which does suck a little bit to be honest but 74 overall for him now one to block shed, two to man coverage, one to strength, and then three to zone coverage. Is that in the 60s yet? Okay, it's a 63. Look at that. We can talk about Chandler Jones, though. So let's just go ahead and do that. Chandler Jones is incredibly talented. One of the more consistent defensive ends, or outside linebackers, whatever, in the entire NFL for sure. Let's just disregard him because I'm pretty sure all you have to do is win. Maybe you don't get as much of a bonus if you do complete the challenge like compared to the others. I don't know. But if we can beat the Cardinals, we'll get a little bit of a boost here. But speaking of the Cardinals, let's go ahead and talk about their team a little bit. I mentioned him a little bit before, but Kyler Murray is this team's starting quarterback. He is superstar development, still very young. And honestly, the best thing about him is how fast he is. 91 speed, 92 acceleration, 93 change of direction, 90 agility. He also has really good, you know, passer ratings, like not just speed. Um, so he's going to be difficult to go up against. And his number one option is going to be DeAndre Hopkins. Of course, a superstar X Factor, 98 overall, arguably the best receiver in the entire league. Incredible hands, excellent route running ability. He has 499 stats on the back here. So this is going to be a very difficult matchup for us. We don't really have good cornerbacks. So going up against, at worst, the top three receiver in the NFL is going to be incredibly difficult. We mentioned him a bit before too, but Chandler Jones, 96 overall. He is ridiculously good. A really good pursuit, power move, awareness, good finesse move. Not the best block shed, actually. I thought it'd be a little bit higher, uh, but good tackling as well. Not bad speed for an edge rusher, 86 acceleration, 81 hit power. Yeah, he's ridiculously good. He's going to get a ton of pressures today. Now, this team has a good safety duo. At free safety, they have Buda Baker. Uh, who just got a huge contract in real life, but he's a really talented safety, 88 overall for him, superstar development. And then at strong safety, uh, we do not have to face Isaiah Simmons. No chance he's injured. Okay, well, he is incredibly athletic. I'm going to talk about him anyway. How long is he out for? Three more weeks with a torn labrum. Oh, that's so unfortunate. 94 speed, 93 acceleration. I think he normally has uh, 93 speed, but he is insanely athletic. He's kind of like a linebacker safety hybrid. They have him at strong safety here. Superstar development as well. Um, I'm really happy we don't have to take him on because he'd be incredibly hard to play against. Instead, I guess it's going to be Deontay Thompson, who's not awful, but nowhere near as good as Isaiah Simmons, a 71 overall only for Thompson. Uh, but those are all the players I'm going to talk about on the Cardinals. Now, I don't really think there's anything else to do. We can just hop straight into this game. I don't think this one's going to be easy. I didn't think any game this season would be easy. So here we go. Let's hop into the game against the Cardinals. Okay, so we are home and we are kicking off. Here we go. Graham Gano is going to send it deep. No return here for the Cardinals. Um, but they're going to come out at the 25-yard line. Let's see what kind of offense they decide to go with. I imagine they'll be rather rush heavy in a way. You know, Kyler Murray can move. Kenyon Drake isn't bad. 
Um, but they also have DeAndre Hopkins. This is going to be a tough outing for our uh, safeties and our cornerbacks. It's going to be an RPO, but Kyler Murray is just going to take off himself. Doesn't do anything there. Only picks up a yard. So a really good start here on defense. This is going to be a screen pass here on second down. Ryan Connolly is going to read it and blow it up. Let's go. It's a loss of four. It'll bring up third down and 13. We can get the ball back really quickly here. Come on. The running back is open, but I'm not too worried about him. Yeah, Kenyon Drake isn't going to get too much. He got eight yards. We're going to get the ball. That was actually a really good drive from the defense. Okay, on first down here, we're going to come out with a run play. Let's see how that goes. Saquon Barkley following his blockers really well. Saquon Barkley, let's go. Outrun Patrick Peterson. Come on, Saquon. You're not going to get caught. The first play we have on offense is going to be a touchdown to Saquon Barkley. 76-yard touchdown for the men. Let's go. Saquon is insane in this game, dude. He's probably, like, in conversation for MVP this year just because of how ridiculous of a season he's having. But let's go, man. Starting off incredibly strong today. Also, absolutely no sliders have been touched. They are the exact same as what we had last week. And last week, we got crushed. So right now, we are starting off far better than we did, honestly, in, like, any other game this year, to be real. But here we go. Let's see if we can get a nice stop on defense again. And then maybe try to rely on Saquon even more. That's going to be a passing play on first down. Ryan Connolly could not keep up, really. And Kyler Murray is going to complete that to Max Williams. Kenyon Drake is getting the ball here, and I completely missed that tackle. You got to love this game sometimes. Well, to be more specific, you got to love me playing the game sometimes. <laughs> There's 16 yards, though, for Kenyon Drake. That kind of sucks. I also have aggressive, like, tackling on, so maybe the team will hit stick a little bit more. That's kind of what I'm going for. Another run play here to Kenyon Drake. Somebody kill him. No, he's going to get tackled by like four different players though. I'm just thinking about this now, but um, where is Larry Fitzgerald? <laughs> is he like injured or something and they just don't have him here? I'm not exactly sure, but okay. Third down and five now after the false start. I'm going to guess pass here if I can. Wrong thing. Hold on. I right, hit it again. <laughs> I didn't even get the guess pass because I'm stupid. Anyway, that's going to be completed to DeAndre Hopkins. It was only a matter of time before he got a target. And he's going to catch essentially every target he gets because that's just kind of what he does. He's not actually having the greatest year right now. I think Sterling Shepard has more receiving yards than he does in this franchise. You're really open across the middle. That is going to be Christian Kirk reaching for that first down. He's going to get it. So Kyler Murray stays perfect. 7 for 7, 53 yards. Really good start for him as well. I feel like this is going to be a run play to Kenyon Drake. It's not a run play. You're kind of open. I'll let that up. It's not even going to go that way. It's going to go to Christian Kirk, and he's actually going to get a touchdown. I don't know how he managed to score on that. There was like two players in front of him, and somehow we missed the tackle both times. <laughs> Maybe it's because we have aggressive tackling on. I should probably just turn that off. I just like want my team to go for more hit sticks. I just feel like nobody ever hit sticks unless I do it, and I always miss. <laughs> Sterling Shepard's going to catch that slant across the middle, and sadly, we won't have another one-play drive. <laughs> you can't do that every time, but... 3,000 passing yards on the year for Danny Dimes. He might eclipse 4,000 this year. I think we're on pace for it, at least. Um, but we're also on pace for about 30 touchdowns and 30 interceptions. Kind of bad, but whatever. Saquon Barkley's going to get another outside handoff. And this time, he's going to pick up... Um, I don't even know how much that was. But that was a good, you know, gain. Picked up a first down. Saquon to the outside once more, and that player never gets blocked. That is Jordan Hicks, the former Philadelphia Eagle. Good tackle by him. He's a good linebacker. Javon Wims on the slant could get really open. I'm going to block Saquon. Actually, I'll look for Saquon here too, potentially. I like Javon Wims a little bit more, I think. Javon Wims is going to pick up that first down. There we go. Good throw by Daniel Jones. There goes Saquon Barkley. No, he's going to drop it. You got to hold on to that one, my dude. Maybe a possession catch was the correct call there, but it's all right. Third down and 10. See if we can potentially find Evan Ingram here for the first down. He's my main read. Evan Ingram, I think, is going to be open. He's going to make that catch directly in front of Buda Baker. Interesting throw by Daniel Jones, but I guess it works. We totally did not just lose 10 yards on a screen pass because Daniel Jones threw out of a sack. That didn't happen. Uh, second down and 20 after I don't know what happened, but it definitely wasn't that. Sterling Shepard, not Sterling Shepard. It's going to be Darius Slayton, and it's going to get picked off. Yeah, that didn't happen either. Um, Somebody else started playing. My brother walked in. I don't know if you saw him, but... Uh, my two-year-old brother walked in and started playing. That's what happened. Uh, but now somehow it's, you know, first and ten. I blacked out. Who knows? <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this. But let's see if we can make a play on defense. Kyler Murray's going to scramble. I don't like that. Oh, wow. Look at that pursuit angle by me. I mean, Ryan Connolly. Not me. At all. I'm not actually here. 
you are watching the in real life New York Giants, even though Ryan Connolly, I'm pretty sure, got cut in real life. So I don't know what you're watching. Maybe it's a dream. Who knows? This is a weird part of the video. You know, not not what you normally see here on the on the Shram channel. If you're new, you know, don't get too weirded out. Whatever. Second down and six. This interception's for you, David. Okay. If I got an interception and somebody watching was named David, that would have been the greatest thing ever. Oh, that's a really good pass. Kyler Murray is still perfect. 11 for 11. Not what you want to see if you are a Giants fan. <laughs> He is just dealing right now. Can we do anything? Probably not. Jabril Peppers. Come on. I have faith in you. More slants. And another time where it's going to work. DeAndre Hopkins is sort of good. We should probably, you know, cover him. That would just be a little bit helpful, I think. Um, we have a quarterback spy with Ryan Connolly, so I'm not going to actually use him here. I'll let him do his thing. This is going to be a quarterback draw that is going to get blown up. Not necessarily blown up. He picked up three yards. Uh, but Leonard Williams, pretty good job there. To at least not let up a touchdown. We're going to run commit. I don't really like this formation if they do pass it. So let's just run commit anyway. I went for the hit stick. <sighs> well, we got the tackle for loss, but I missed. <laughs> I'm tempted to engage eight, but I do think they're going to pass the ball. So I'm not going to do that. I'm stuck on a D lineman. BJ Hill, do something. Kyler Murray scrambling outside. And we are actually going to stop him short. They're down at the one yard line. I wouldn't be surprised if they go for this. How are you not going to go for this at the one yard line? Just quarterback sneak it. I know Kyler Murray is kind of short, but he could probably get that done. <laughs> they are just going to kick it through. Okay. Well, 10 to seven here. Sterling Shepard on the comeback. There we go. Good catch by him. Six for nine for Daniel Jones and 38 yards with an interception. Yeah. Um, I'm still not good at passing the ball in this game. I don't know if you've realized that just yet. We're going to run the ball here, though. Saquon Barkley has a ton of space. Nice job, offensive line. And good job, Saquon, finding the gap. I think if we're going to win this game, it's going to be on the ground like pretty much every other game we've won, essentially. <laughs> um, yeah, Saquon's been such a factor for us this season. Third down and a good old seven. Here we go, boys. I don't know why I said it like that, but we're going to get the first down now because of that. Darius Slayton is going to make that catch. Thank you for existing, my friend. Sterling Shepard, make this catch. What a grab on the sideline. Let's go. Beautiful ball as well by Daniel Jones. Way to be patient. Didn't get pressured or anything like that, so we had a lot of time. Nice job, Daniel Jones. There was a player actually right in front of him, and he makes a really good throw. Let's just go with another toss here to Saquon. Hopefully this works. I'm going to flip this one to the left. Shorter part of the field, but it looks more successful over here. Saquon Barkley has a touchdown. There we go. Really easy. Saquon Barkley is, you know, on pace for a ridiculous game right now. Oh, Blake Martinez almost made a good play, but he didn't because he's Blake Martinez. Uh, but now it's going to be second down and five. Let's see if he can redeem himself and make a play. I can't even use him. There we go. Blake Martinez. Play Kenny and Drake on this one. He's going out in motion. Oh, no. We're going to man up on Kenny and Drake. Yeah, that wasn't going to work. Andy Isabella. He is fast. That's something about him. And that's something that our cornerbacks are not. So Andy Isabella, if he is on the field, he'll probably get open. This is going to be a run play. It is a run play. Ryan Connolly gets blocked, though. James Bradbury will bring him down. Kenyon Drake picking up that first. That's a really good play there. Let's go. Who even is that? Oh, Shane Zimenez. Nice job. Way to be patient on Kyler Murray. Now it's going to be third down and five. I'm going to guess pass. I keep hitting triangle. Guess pass. There we go. It's going to be slants again, so it'll probably work one more time. Kyler Murray's going to scramble, and we can't get to him. He's going to slide down. After he picks up six yards. Unfortunately, that is a first down. Kyler Murray is so quick, man. It's insane <laughs> how quickly he can change direction. All right, well, now they're down at the 11-yard line. He ran the ball seven times already. I kind of figured this would happen. Because we don't really have a fast defense, so it's kind of tough. Like Specifically, our linebackers are pretty slow. That sucks when it comes to you know quarterback scrambling. He's going to scramble once more, and I can't do anything about that. Ryan Connolly trying to turn is incredibly slow and Kyler Murray has a touchdown okay Evan Ingram is incredibly open so we're gonna take that all day we're gonna run out of bounds as well that was a really good play there Evan Ingram is so open I didn't mean to possession catch that no I hit oh man I hit x by mistake I meant to hit square that would have probably been a touchdown if I hit square oh wait call timeout I'm an idiot I just did exactly what the computer does and I roast them all the time for doing that but man, okay, well, that should have been a touchdown. Entirely on me there, my fault. 
But let's see if we can still score. 12 seconds. We have two timeouts. We can call a couple plays here still. Darius Slayton, I think, is going to be open. Here, make that catch. Go down. I'm going to take another timeout. We can still get one more play to try to score a touchdown. Okay, so the last play did not work. We have one second left. That really sucks, though, because I'm pretty certain we had a touchdown there to Evan Ingram. It's okay, though. At least we're going to tie up the game. Um, I'm very stupid. I still need to learn how to play this game on PS4. <laughs> uh, these are still my first, like, bunch of Madden games on this console in general. So, you know, me messing up the controls is obviously bound to happen still. Um, but that first half wasn't awful. We really can't stop Kyler Murray, though, which is quite bad, honestly. Um, the offense was pretty good for the most part. I threw one stupid interception, but I'm good for at least one of those per game. I don't really like anybody here. We're just going to take off. Oh, we have triangle open now, but there's no way I can throw that. Daniel Jones has so much space, and that is going to be a huge gain of 24 yards. Okay. If I had, like, Patrick Mahomes or even Josh Allen, maybe someone with good throw power, I probably would have taken that shot to Sterling Shepard, but with Daniel Jones, no chance. I try to cut that one back a lot sooner. That could have been a really big gain if I did, but Saquon only had six rushes or five rushes in the first half. I don't like this run play, but I don't think I have time to audible, so we're going to run it up the middle. Saquon Barkley, not doing badly. He's going to pick up like five. Now I'm looking at Darius Slayton here across the middle on this slant. That's getting picked off. I am so bad at this game. Oh my lord, dude. I thought I could squeeze that one in there, and that's going to be a pick six. Of course it is. I thought I could squeeze that one in there, but I threw it way too late. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Daniel Jones fans. I am making him look way worse than he actually is. That sucks. Like, a lot. I'm going to run the ball as much as I can now. I'm going to do my best not to throw the ball, like, anymore, if possible. Saquon is going to break off one tackle. Can't break off the second one. He's going to pick up five yards. But, obviously, he's having a really good game. So, let's see how much we can run the ball before we really have to pass it. I don't like running the ball here, though. I'm not a big fan of it, but I'll try it. The run blocking was actually incredible there. Saquon Barkley, let's go. Getting to the next level very quickly. He's approaching 130 yards as well, and he doesn't even have 10 carries. Okay, third down and three. I don't really like the run lane here. Also, Deion Lewis is in, so we're going to pass the ball. I don't like anybody there, actually. We have X now, maybe? I'll make the sketch. Evan Ingram, let's go. What a ball by Daniel Jones. That safety completely overran it, though, so that was very lucky. I don't really like running it in this situation, so I am going to pass it. Evan Ingram, maybe. Evan Ingram should be open in the end zone. He's going to make that catch. Evan Ingram for the touchdown. Okay, at least we can tie the game back up again, okay? So I've had issues. He's Okay, that's actually really funny. He had that celebration where the ball was stuck to his hand, but the ball wasn't even in his hand. It was literally the exact opposite of what you wanted to do. <laughs> you, you dropped the ball at some point. Whatever. Anyway, we tied the game up. This has been a very shrammy kind of game where, you know, I throw a lot of picks, but I run the ball well. But also, I'm not utilizing the run. So, you know, it's just one of those. I guess more man coverage? I don't really know what to call right now. Kyler Murray still has not thrown an incompletion, so that's fun. Another completion there. What is that? His 17th straight completion. It doesn't really seem to matter what we do. He just always finds the open player, which sucks. And if no one's open, he just scrambles. He wasn't even open. <laughs> and he still found him. Christian Kirk, what a grab. A really good throw by Kyler Murray. He kind of threw him open a little bit there. A lot of traffic around that area, and, you know, still <laughs> a great play by the Cardinals. They really can't do anything wrong at the moment. Okay, what a change of direction ability there for Kenyon Drake. I thought I had that bottled up, and he was like, nah. <laughs> I'm just going to defy physics and just cut the other direction. Yeah, go ahead, do you, my guy. Their offense has been ridiculous today. Literally every single time they do anything, I swear they get positive yardage. That's going to be a sack, though. Okay, finally, we did something. Lorenzo Carter, way to go. All right, third down and 15. I'm going to guess pass, set up a quarterback contain as well. Hopefully this stops him from scrambling around. We're going to watch Max Williams. The running back is open, but he's going to scramble directly into O'Shane Zimenez. That was not a good play by Kyler Murray. Let's go, though. O'Shane Zimenez, nice job just being in position. The field goal is up and good at 27 to 24 now. Um, let's see if we can kind of, you know, ride this offense's momentum a little bit and potentially score a touchdown and take the lead again. There goes Saquon Barkley. No, he gets caught from behind unfortunate but it's okay he's still got a good bit there i didn't mean to go five wide but it happens i'm going to put saquon on an out i might actually try to hit him here he's pretty open there we go saquon barkley's gonna pick up that first down darius slayton's really open here let's go cut up field no darius slayton if you had a bit more acceleration maybe that's gonna be an injury timeout i think but i think he actually got hurt 
That's not fun. Please don't be out for long. That's going to be a wide open lane, though, for Saquon Barkley. There we go. It's a nice game of about, like, 13 there. Bruised ribs here for Darius Slayton. I'm not going to put him back in just yet, though. Darius Slayton's back in the game already, so that's nice, at least. Maybe him on a streak here. It depends where Buda Baker goes. Darius Slayton, I think, got open. No, that's not going to be catchable. Man, unfortunate there. Fourth and five, we are going to take the points. I thought Darius Slayton got a good release, but not necessarily. The cornerback actually recovered fairly well, and that is running into the kicker, or roughing the kicker, whatever. It's a first down, that's all I know. It's kind of annoying that that's so prevalent this year, but I'm going to accept it every time. All Madden is very cheesy, so if I have a way to cheese them back, I'm gonna do it, okay? First down and 10. <laughs> um, let's try to hit Sterling Shepard here, potentially. Wait a little bit, I think he can get pretty open. Nope, that's going to be a glitchy animation there for Patrick Peterson. He was not in that position, um, but the game just glitched for him. You love when that happens. All right, so we have third down and eight here. Let's not ruin this opportunity they gave us. Evan Ingram across the middle is very open. That's a wide open touchdown. Nobody was even close to him. That's his second receiving touchdown today. Let's go, Evan Ingram. Continuing his really solid year. Okay, so they have really bad field position. They roughed the kicker again on the extra point, and I skied the kick. So they had, like, no room to return it. It was perfect. First down and 10, though. Kyler Murray is just running around like a madman back there. He's going to try to juke, and he doesn't fumble. But if I did that, I'm sure I would have fumbled. Whatever. Second down and in inches. <laughs> I don't want to complain about that too much. There's going to be a run play. I think it's going to be a read option. Kyler Murray is going to get slammed, and he doesn't fumble once again. Man, it's okay. I just feel like if I did that with Daniel Jones, I probably would have fumbled. If I did that with Kyler Murray, I probably would fumble. <laughs> You're open across the middle once again. Okay, man. We cannot call man coverage, I don't think. I should probably just completely go to zone. Kyler Murray's going to scramble around again. Somebody kill him. Nope. Okay. That's just going to be a first down. I'm not putting up a quarterback in Tain. I don't think that would have mattered there. We would have really needed like a quarterback spy there. But let me continue putting a quarterback in Tain up on every play. It worked in the last drive. So hopefully it can work here again. Yeah, that's just the fastest release I've ever seen. Cool. That's why he's 21 for 21. <laughs> we just can't stop passes like that. I don't get how you stop passes like that. It's going to be a toss play to the outside. Get there. No, Kenyon Drake has a lot of room to go. He's going to break out of a tackle as well. That was a good run by Kenyon Drake. Kyler Murray is going to run again for like the seventh time on this drive. 13 rushes for 100 yards. We really can't stop him at all. I'm calling a quarterback in 10 as well. I guess we need a spy. Who's blitzing here? I think it's Blake Martinez. Uh, come out in a quarterback spy, I guess. That is so close to being an interception. Oh, man. Okay, well, he's down to the one. Kyler Murray's 22 for 22. Let's run commit. Hopefully, they do run the ball. We can get a nice tackle for loss if they try to run the ball at a pistol. They are going with a run play. Ryan Connolly is back there. That's a loss of two. I think I ran commit by accident. I definitely ran commit by mistake. Oh, there's just so many audibles I have to make before like each play to try to stop Kyler Murray that I just mixed him up on that one. That sucks. So I did not mean to run commit. I meant to press and I think I hit R1 and down on the left stick, which means it's a run commit. Well, that's a mistake, but honestly, we weren't stopping them that entire drive. I really don't think me not run committing there would have made a difference. Let's go Saquon. Shoot that gap. Saquon Barkley. Nice job. He's going to pick up 15 yards. He's also approaching 200 for like the third time or something this season. It's crazy how good he is. I figured he would be good, but it's just nuts, man. He's just so ridiculously fast. Let's maybe try to hit Darius Slayton. Oh, Darius Slayton's open. We're going to throw that to him. He's going to try to catch this on the run. He's going to make the grab as well. Darius Slayton, let's go. Not the best throw by Daniel Jones. I probably should have lobbed it. I was just worried that Buda Baker might have been able to recover in time. So I figured I'd just bullet it to get the for sure completion. But a lob might have went to the end zone. That's okay, though. Saquon Barkley, nice job. I gotta start lowering my shoulder. I read a comment saying that I should do that, and I just keep forgetting. I mentioned it in the response to his comment. I literally just always forget whenever I have the ball with him that, hey, he can actually truck. Always forget. But Evan Ingram across the middle is going to be open if they blitz. They're not blitzing. That's fine. We have triangle. He's going to make the catch. Never mind. He's not going to make the catch. That was a really glitchy play, but okay. <laughs> Wait, that's a face mask. I didn't commentate over that play because I didn't think that was a face mask. Okay. We have the ball at the seven-yard line now. This has been a good drive. 
Let's run the ball here with Deion Lewis. Actually, no, I lied. Let's go with this uh, halfback angle play to him. He's a good receiving back. Let's see if we can hit him in the end zone. Oh, he's not too open. X is open, though. Evan Ingram is going to get destroyed. Oh, my, dude. I thought he just got chopped in half. Holy crap. That is not what I wanted to happen, but we are absolutely running the ball here. Offensive line, please block at least a little bit. Jordan Hicks did not get blocked. That's so frustrating, man. They have three down linemen. How can we not get to the second level on a play like that? All right, well, now we have the ball at the three-yard line. I'm looking for Evan Ingram again on the slant. If I can throw to him right away, I think he can get open. Oh, he's not going to be super open right away. Evan Ingram in the back of the end zone. Evan Ingram is going to make the catch. Let's go. His third receiving touchdown today. What a throw by Daniel Jones. That's going to be a booth review. Please tell me he was in. I can't tell at all if he's in. It showed me two angles. It was the same exact angle both times, so I have no idea. Please tell me that is a completion. It is going to be a completion. Way to go. Man, Evan Ingram is having one crazy game right now, man. I tried to set up a quarterback in Tain, and instead, Ryan Connolly just, like, jabbed at the air. That's fun. Leonard Williams is getting injured again. <laughs> he was just standing on the field. It's like the coach was like, hey, you're injured, get down. And he was like, oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Come on, man, he can't be that hurt. He was just chilling, whatever. Uh, we have one player manning up, which is an interesting play call. He's probably going to get burned. The running back in the flats is wide open. Not the running back, sorry, the tight end. Max Williams. I saw him that entire time, but there's no way I could get over there. Kyler Murray is 25 for 25. He is not doing anything wrong, and it's literally so frustrating. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to play against him right now. He's like Dwayne Haskins all over again. DeAndre Hopkins is wide open. <laughs> yep, I saw that as well. That's going to be the two-minute warning. Please don't let him go 30 for 30 on us. Like, throw any completion soon, please. We're going to go with the quarterback contain. Hopefully, we can get some pressure. There we go. That's exactly what we're going to get. J.R. Sweezy's going down with an injury, but that was Dexter Lawrence, I think, on the sack. That's huge. They also have to take a timeout, which is big for us as well. We're going to go with a blitz. Maybe this can work. It probably won't work, but I'm going to try it. If that would have been completed, that was the end of the series. All I'm saying. Because, just really quickly, I'm um, sorry to kind of break the moment, but look how many people were in his face. If this got completed, I would have literally, like, ended this entire series. This is the most ridiculous throw I've ever seen. It did not get completed. He was wide open, though. But, good lord, that's insane. I can't believe he even got that throw off. But it happened. It took until the fourth quarter with a minute and, like, 14 seconds left. But he finally threw an incompletion. It's insane. Kyler Murray's going to run again. He's going to slide down. Not the best play for them, to be honest. Like, there's still a decent bit of time, but not really that great of a play. Open in the flats there is Max Williams. Did he pick up that first down? He might not have. No, he did get the first down. Okay. Nobody's getting any kind of pressure here, which is always fun. Max Williams is going to catch the pass. And they're at the five-yard line with, like, no time left. Dude, they're going to win this game. <laughs> they are going to win this game, and I can't do anything about it. This sucks. Do something. Blake Martinez, make the play of your career. Blake Martinez, no way! Blake Martinez, what a play. There's actually no chance that Blake Martinez is going to win this game for us. He's won two games for us this season. What a legend, dude. Maybe we stop talking badly about him every single game. Maybe we have to give him some props. Maybe he's better than everybody thinks. No, he's not. But, you know, like, <laughs> maybe he is decent in Madden. Which is true. That's completely true. He's not that bad in Madden. <laughs> but good lord, we're going to win this game because Blake Martinez finally decided to cover someone. It took a very long time. I don't know when he was drafted. But it took a really long time for him to cover anybody. Let's go. 38 to 34. I, pro I probably should stop, like, completely demoralizing him. Because he literally just won us the game. That was insane. But let's go. Kyler Murray threw two incompletions the entire game. And one of them was an interception. Let's go. That was such a crazy end to a game. Daniel Jones, about 300 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. A very Daniel Jones kind of game here. At least in this, you know, franchise. Saquon, I didn't give him the ball as much as I probably should have. I completely understand that. Uh, but 18 for 188. Evan Ingram was really good today. 7 for 138. Darius Slayton was also good. Saquon, 4 for negative 5. Uh, not ideal. Sterling Shepard, 3 for 41. No sacks let up today. 
That's great to see. Chandler Jones really wasn't an issue. Uh, James Bradbury, Ryan Connolly, each 11 tackles. Two tackles for loss for Ryan Connolly. A couple sacks today, not too bad. And then, of course, that one interception by Blake Martinez. I still can't believe that happened. Okay, so we have a good number of experience points to look forward to next time. Um, but actually, before we end the video, we can see who the Heisman winner is after I advance. Um, but now we get 1,000 experience for all quarterbacks, I think that said, which is cool to see. Next time, we have to take on the best team in this entire game, in my opinion. Also, Leonard Williams is out for eight weeks. Nice. Okay, well, I can throw him on IR and sign someone in free agency. I guess I'll do that next time. Um, but let's advance to week 15. We have to take on the Cleveland Browns. This is not going to be an easy game. They're 12-1 and one because, you know, the Browns. They lost in real life in week one. So, according to Madden, they're going to win the next 12 games. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's no breakout players or anything like that. But we can check out the Heisman winner. Please tell me it's a good position. The Heisman winner is going to be Ronnie Westbrook. He's a defensive player who won the Heisman. Tell me he's a cornerback. Ronnie Westbrook, I don't recognize the name, but there's one really good looking corner in this class, and I really hope it's him. Ronnie Westbrook is a middle linebacker, and he is not good. That sucks. If he has a good combine, maybe we still go ahead and take him in the first round. The only problem is that he's projected to go mid first round, so we really can't, like, wait on him. We'd have to take him fairly early, and I don't really want to take him early. There are also some good linebackers down the board, so I don't know what to do with him. I'm sure he has at least hidden. The thing is though, linebackers are super easy to develop. So I don't even really care what the development trait is of the linebackers we draft. Um, but that kind of is underwhelming to say the least. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. This is, this is